Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you've never been here before, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I post two times a week on this channel and we talk about all things books, vlogs, fashion, makeup, sports, all the good things. Today we are back with Drag Queens Choose My TBR for the month of June, which is Pride Month. So my goal is going to be to read only um, LGBTQ plus books or authors. So that is the goal, but we will see if the game lets us do that. So first we'll just quickly run through the cards from last game mark off our reward card or punishment card put it in the deck and we'll deal six new cards and then I'll talk about what we're gonna read so first card we had last time was Ben de la creme which is a book with a major plot twist and for that I read the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo I absolutely loved it gave it five stars Every book I talk about in here will be in the monthly wrap-up coming out next week. So, Ben de la Creme, check. Um, next up we had Jan, and Jan's prompt is a book set in New York City, and for this I read Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi, and I gave it four and a half stars. So Jan can go back into the- or Jan will also be done not going back in. Next, we had a book with an orange cover, which is Coco's Prompt, and for this I read No One Is Talking About This by Patricia Lockwood, and I read this for the 48-hour 40, readathon and the vlog for this and the f and four other books I'm about to mention, three other books I'm about to mention will be in the cards. Um, go check out the reading vlog for this readathon. I gave this four stars. So Coco, check. Then we picked Kylie Sonique Love, which was a recent purchase, and for this I read The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, which is on my Kindle, and I gave it four stars, three and a half, I think three and a half stars. So Kylie, check. Then this one didn't fill a prompt, but I read Mom, Mother of Madness, and I gave this one three and a half stars. Then um, Michelle Visage, which is a wild card, and for the wild card prompt, I chose We Were Dreamers by Simu Liu, and I listened to the audiobook also during the readathon, and I think I gave it four or four and a half stars. And then, so her prompt is complete. And the last prompt that we have is Miss Coco Peru, which is a mom pick, and I am in the process of reading The Queen of the Cheerling, and I have just under a week to finish this, so it will be done. So we have completed six out of six prompts! Yay! I'm so proud of myself! Um, so that means... All of these cards are complete and it means we can refer to our handy dandy little graphic which I'll put on the screen and if we read six if we completed all six prompts we get a choose any book which I have changed from washi tape to a red sticky taped down because I can't find my washi tape anywhere and so I have uh, marked up Jan's card with a red sticky note and we're gonna put it back in the deck the other five will go into the bag because they've been completed. And now it's time to pick our six cards for the next month. So put Jan in there and we'll give this a shuffle. I'm just gonna do it off screen because I can't hold it up. Pray that it will be nice to us this month and now we will pick. Okay, card number one. Card number two, card number three, card number four, card number five, and card number six. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is pull up the prompt list on my phone. I'll go through all the prompts and then I'll take like five seconds or whatever and I'll figure out what books I'm going to read. Why am I on sleep mode? Oh, I did that, okay. 
pulling up to the prompt list. If you're wondering all the rules of the game and the prompts and stuff, you can check out the original video, which I'll link up here. Prompts. Okay. So the first card that I see here is Miss Latrice Royale, and Latrice's pick is Friend Pick. Okay. Next, we have Aquaria. And her pick is Steal a Book from Another TBR. Okay. Next, we have Shangela. And her pick is a Second Chance pick. So I believe this is a book that I DNF'd, is it not? I'll go back and watch and <laughs> remind myself. Next, we have Miss Gendermange, which is, where is she? The shortest book on my TBR. We have Crystal, and that is continue a series. Wow, guys, this is going extremely poorly for me. Um, and the last card we have is Kendall Gender, and Kendall is new to me author. Okay, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for this, and I will be back. Okay, so some time has passed, and we are back with the picks for the month. So, the first card that we pulled was Latrice Royale, which is a friend pick. So, I DM'd my friend Isabella and I gave her a few options of books I was hoping to read this month and asked her to pick one. And she chose Delilah Green Doesn't Care because she's really been wanting to read this. And so have I. So, thanks, Isabella. So, essentially, this book is about. A girl who um, swore she would never go back to her tiny town and she moves to New York, but then her stepsister asks her to come back to photograph her wedding and she falls in love or meets this um, girl who lives in the town who is one of her best friends, one of the stepsister's best friends. And it's a little bit like enemies to lovers. I've heard really good things about this book and I'm so excited to finally get it on my TBR because I think I bought it like the week it came out. So the first book is Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. The next prompt was Aquaria, which is continuation of a series and, or no, was Crystal which is continuation of a series and I'm cheating, but it's my game. So I do what I want. <laughs> um, there's no series I'm reading that are queer, which is A, bad, but B, like I just don't have the time this coming month to read another book, like to read more than one book for this prompt to make another book in the series like appear. So, I'm cheating slightly and I'm choosing I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston because while it's not a continuation of a series, it is a continuation of like the series of books by this author. I've read her other two books so I think this kind of counts as like continuing a series by reading her new book. So this is a YA and it's about um, a girl who gets ki who kisses Shara Wheeler who is like her rival. Um, in terms of like winning um, valedictorian, I think. Yeah. Um, but then when Shara kisses her, she completely disappears and they kind of have to like, she has to work together with her, with Shara's boyfriend and the bad boy neighbor, I guess, and figure out where she went. So. This is another new release. My mom just read it. She said she enjoyed it. Um, I don't think she thought it was as good as the other ones and it's YA so I'm not sure how much I will get out of it but I wanted to read it because I love Casey McQuiston's writing. Next we have Kendall Gender and this prompt is a new author to me and for this one I'm picking Tripping Arcadia by Kit Mayquist. This is about a girl who drops out of school and becomes 
a nanny slash caretaker for one of the richest families in Boston but she starts to discover that the family isn't exactly what they seem and there's this like sinister kind of vibes going on and then she falls in love with one of the daughters in the family so i'm excited look at how beautiful this is um so yeah and i've never read anything by her so perfect next up we have aquaria which is steal a book from somebody else's tbr so i'm actually going to give myself two options for this one that i already own and one that i could purchase and we'll just see which one I, I decide, but I, I'm leaning more towards the one I already own. So the one I already own is Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe, and this one was on, um, these ones are both from TikTok TBRs actually, and this one was Anna's Reading Corner. I'll put her TBR uh, video on the screen here, but essentially um, this is about um, a Chinese American girl who, well, maybe I'll just say. So Lily, who can't remember exactly when the question took root, but the answer was clear the moment she and Kath Miller walked under the neon sign of a lesbian bar called the Telegraph Club. America in 1954 is not a safe place for two girls to fall in love. Red scare paranoia threatens everyone, including Chinese Americans like Lily. With deportation looming over her father, Lily and Kath risk everything for love. This just sounds so good. It sounds so sweet. I think I'm gonna go with this one the other option is Gideon the ninth but I have so much I have another like chunky fantasy book on here so I think I'm just gonna leave it at this now where did these cards go okay now we have our last two cards and these are books that I don't physically own um or that I yeah I don't own in physical condition so we next had Ginger Minge which is shortest book on the TBR and because I'm only trying to read queer books this month I took my TBR that I made when I was planning this game of like the 12 um queer books that I really wanted to read and the shortest one on that was Meaty by Samantha Irby and I'm just gonna pull up the little uh synopsis here I'm going to be listening to this on audio because apparently her books on audio are great and she's a narrator. So Samantha Irby explodes onto the printed page with her debut collection of brand new essays about trying to laugh her way through failed relationships, being black, taco feasts, bouts with Crohn's disease, and more. Every essay is crafted with the same scathing wit and poignant candor thousands of loyal readers have come to expect from visiting her notoriously hilarious blog. So she has slash had a blog. Um... And these are a bunch of essays similar to what she was writing on there. She is a queer woman, so um, that will work wonderfully. She also has a couple other books. The most popular one I've seen is We Are Never Meeting in Real Life. But anyway, that will be my pick for a shortest book, and I'm going to put that on audio. And the last prompt that we had was Shangela, which was Second Chance. And again... I'm manipulating this prompt a little bit because what I originally said it was was a book that I had started reading and put down or like just hadn't gotten very far through or had like DNF'd and there's only one queer book I can think of that I did that with and that's She Who Became the Sun and I just can't pick that up again like I literally can't. I thought I unhauled it but it's still over there but I can't do that to myself because I know it's going to put me in a reading slump because I will just refuse to read it. So what I'm actually going to do is read the Night and Its Moon by Piper CJ. And the reason this is a second chance book is because I was so excited to read this when it came out. I was all over the hype on TikTok. Um, and then I immediately like put it down when there was some controversy going on um, and didn't pick it up. So I've had it for a while and I'm going to give it a second chance and pick it up and see how it is. Um, even though there was some controversy about her harassing people for leaving negative reviews, but you know what? I'm gonna try it and see since I already spent the money. It's already on my Kindle. So That is the plan. It is another chunky book. I think it's the chunkiest one. I think it's like 500 and some pages, but With that being said, the only thing left to deal with is whatever a thon so I'm gonna gather that information and I'll be back again <laughs> 
we're back okay so for june it is the month of whateverathon 2 and i did not do whateverathon 1 because i don't think i was quite like a booktuber yet you know at that point but this is hosted by maddie over at book browsing blog and i will leave the announcement video down below because i cannot fit like everything about it in here essentially there are two ways to play the readathon and I'm gonna try and do both. The first way is to set a goal of how many books you're gonna read. And my goal that I set was four because I signed up for it before I added on to six books. But anyway, four books. And so the way that it works is you have your points thing. So when you complete your goal, you get, I think, oh, up for up to every goal. So up. Every book you read towards your goal, so the first four books I read will get 100 points, and then um, every book you read past your goal will give you 200 points. So if I manage to read all the books on my TBR, I'll get an additional 200 points for each book. Then you also get points for diversity. So um, every LGBTQ plus book gets you 50 points, and since all of my books count as that, that's perfect. And then any other diverse rep, so person of color, disability, things like that, get you 25 points. And then there is a bingo section. And I'm on team shelf slayers. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember what I registered for, but this seems to be the one that I would like most like. So here is the bingo card. And basically the way it works is that every bingo card looks the same. The only thing that's different is the purple prompts. So the five specific prompts for Spooky Slayers are borrow a book, spooky book, hybrid genre, purple cover, and weapon on cover. So there is also five squares that are non-reading, non-book related prompts that you can do to get points like guilt-free activity, watch sprints, join the readathon, complete a personal goal, and cozy reading time. Those get you points as well. So for every um, reading and team prompt, you can get 25 points each for any prompt on the bingo board, and you can do up to three prompts on the bingo board per book. So like I could have one that's like spooky, I could have one that is like a purple cover, and like one that starts with like the and of uh or and for example um and then it you would check off the prompts that you've completed as you go and if you hit a bingo you get 100 points for every bingo and every non-reading prompt so if i were to do like a cozy reading that would get me 25 points each and you can do as many of those like every time as you want so the goal is to get bingos and read your books and just like have a great time reading whatever you want which is the point so instead of planning out my tbr for the bingo game what i'm gonna do is just read the book and when it's done i will check off the prompts that it fits on the bingo board so i'll kind of keep you posted as i go with like reading vlogs and stuff um yeah, so I'm excited for that and I think it'll be a good reading month. I may be going out of town or like on holiday at the end of June, so I'm not sure how that will affect my reading, but we shall see. And with that all said, here is the physical TBR plus Needy and the Night and It's Moon. So I am very excited. We're going to have a great queer reading month. Let's do this. Don't forget to hit that like button. Comment down below what you're reading this month. Hit subscribe. Follow me on all my socials down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.